Hi everybody, this is Cyrus for bestebookreaders.com. Today I'm going to show you the applications page, application setting from the settings page. So this is very important when you install applications, you need to be familiar with this page and all the options available through it. So you hold your finger and bring, swipe all the way down to bring the settings and then you go to more and this is the first option. So it's applications. Now here's where the cool things happen. So for applications, you need to be worried about notifications, which apps are allowed to have notifications. The ones that you've installed, if you want to sync your content, this is where you do it. Also has specific settings for the app store, audiobooks, and all the official Amazon applications. So let's go and see the first one. This is the second one actually. First one, notification settings, just turn them off. For instance, for email, it's turned off. If I, I can turn it back on easily. This is nothing. This is just standard. So that's where you turn things on and off. Install applications. You can see, uh, you see the applications that are running. I have these running. I can force it to a stop. I can clear data. I can exactly see this storage and all other relevant information for each app. And I can also see third party applications. This is very important. If you've turned on third party applications, you want to make sure you track them and catch rogue applications before they do any serious damage to your Kindle Fire and also the private information that you may have on it. This, this is pretty standard. You just sync for video settings. You can choose the HD or SD, depending on how much storage you have left. You want to be aware of that. Amazon game circle. You can connect it to your Facebook. You can sh share, show your f game circle name, and you can also turn the whisper sync on and off. This is where you can handle in-app purchasing, for instance, gift card. This is not really important. You just want to get the latest release information and maybe you're a debugger and you want to find out more about what the changes are. The automatic op updates, I usually have it enabled. That's easier for me to do. You can turn it off. You can also notify, get notifications. I, I usually turn this on, but sometimes, you know, I, I mean, I, I am 50 50 here. It doesn't really matter to me, but uh, you know, if you want to get notifications when the opters are installed on your device, that's where you go. In app purchasing, I want to be able to do it, and that's why I have it turned on. If you, for instance, are planning to share your Kindle device with someone else, or maybe you just don't want to allow, you know, additional things through to be purchased through an app, you have the option to turn it off. But you need to provide your password, so and that's neat because if you're changing something major, you you want to be able to have the password so you just to make sure that you are doing it and it's not just in a stranger changing things. Audiobooks standard doesn't silk is important because this is where you uh, select your default search engine the way your websites are shown mobile and desktop. I've already actually have a video on that showing you how to switch between mobile view and desktop view and how to force each. the pop of information. I have this one on it actually it speeds up my web pages. I've never actually tried to turn it off because I never had to. The speed is pretty decent on the new Kindle. You can have encryption on if you like. 
but it does slow down your pages. So you want to be aware of that. This is very cl also clear your history and clear cache. On, on desktop computer, you change a Firefox or Google Chrome. You just go and do all these things, you know, easily from the menu. If you've been using them for a while, you know how to do cleaning cache and cleaning your his your history. But this is where you do it on the Kindle Fire. Don't want to accept cookies. That's that's pretty standard. If you don't want cookies to stay on your device. Don't want the password to be remembered. If you are sharing your Kindle with someone else, you want to clear your passwords. Same with form data. I have location enabled. This is you're gonna need it for some apps. And this is the individual sites and how much data you are storing on your device. For instance, Mediate, uh, it has, it's minimal, but I'm just going to delete it to show you. And the rest of it. So, I have JavaScript line I've I've always had it. The security warning thing again. Now, there are a lot of options here, and you probably don't need to touch most of them, if especially if you're just getting started and this is your first tablet. But if you mess something up, you can always go and reset. So you always have that, unless you root your your Kindle and try to install you know android 4.1 and you break you completely break your device you always have a way to go back to where things were easily so that's a nice option to have so from this page i would recommend the search engine options because it's bing i usually use google i didn't touch the requested website view because it's automatic and it works fine i would recommend Encryption if you want to be secure, but it does affect your speed. And also you want to remember clear cache and clear history because these are important if you want to, and also clear passwords. These are important if you want to get rid of the data sitting on your device. And you can also manage this for individual websites. So that's a quick overview of what this page is all about. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any suggestions, if you have any questions about this page, just post them in the comment box. And for more tips, please go to bestebookreaders.com. Thank you very much for watching, guys.